hydration is key. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am gonna be reviewing a foundation. I am reviewing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and mine is in the shade Soft Beige. I love doing foundation reviews. I think I've done like two or three on my channel in the past, but I don't know, I just love doing them because it's kind of like a, like I can show me applying it and throughout the day, the wear test, everything like that. So this video is gonna be me showing you me applying the foundation, how it applies, what it looks like after, and then it's kind of longevity and the wear test of it. Now, I don't always do a wear test video for foundations that I buy, but I tend to if it's like really cheap or if it's really expensive or if it's really good and i really like this one but that doesn't mean that everybody will but i know that a lot of people do really like this one so this is actually only like 5.99 or six pounds i bought it from boots and i think it was five pounds something i thought that's a really decent price for a foundation i've tried many different foundations and they've been varying in price my mum buys a foundation that's literally 30 pounds i would never spend that much money this one is five pounds something and it depends what you're looking for because this is definitely not a full coverage foundation it is a medium coverage but you can build it up to like that full coverage um but if you've got acne or spots or something like that then it may be um not for you but it is definitely for me my skin is looking a little bit red um i have had a shower my skin does get a bit sensitive when it comes to temperatures it does just like to rise but anyway i really love this foundation so far it's definitely one that i'm going to repurchase i am definitely going to rebuy this foundation i really love it and i will show you why i love it so much in this video but we're still going to do a wear test of it anyway just to show you how it looks so first of all i'm going to be priming my skin i'm not going to show you every step of my makeup routine i'm just going to show you what i kind of do to prep my base for my makeup i've toned i've used a serum and a moisturizer for my skincare routine this morning and i'm literally just going to be priming now so this is the body shop vitamin c skin reviver this is my favorite primer that i've ever ever used the reason why i love this so much is because it's kind of mattifying whilst also being glowy so that makes literally no sense or oh, i'll bring you in a bit closer but basically you apply it to the skin and it just kind of like mattifies everything down whilst also filling in your pores and smooths everything out so it's not really mattifying but it's just smoothing to the skin and blurring my skin does go a little bit red when i apply skincare products look how it doesn't actually go this red like it looks a lot more red on camera but that's just my skin type that's just how i've always been I wouldn't say my skin is sensitive, but it's definitely sensitive when it comes to temperatures. But that's on, it feels really nice and soft, perfect for makeup application. Now, there is something that I've been doing recently, and that's me been doing my eyebrows and my eyes first and then doing my base. So I am gonna go do my eyebrows, do my eyes, and then I will get back to you and apply the foundation. Okay, so I have just done my eyes and my eyebrows. Now, as you can see, I do my eyebrows first and you do have to be careful, obviously, doing foundation after that you might get foundation on your eyebrows, but they tend to be okay. As for my eyes, I used three palettes. I used my Safe X Revolution palette. It is a little bit broken, but that's due to use. And I took this shade in the crease, so that's kind of like the deep pinky shades that you can see in the crease and then over the lid i use this revolution palette steph got me this for christmas was it christmas or was it my birthday my birthday and christmas are so similar so i always forget no it was christmas um and i took this pinky shade right here i am going to be doing a like tutorial on my glitter eye that i always do i've really enjoyed doing a glitter eye because i do also take glitter this was in my january favorites and i used this pink shade here um which happens to be also on my hand um i love this glitter palette it is amazing um so yeah that's what you can kind of see on my eyes it just gives like that iridescent like look to it and i really like it so i use those today and i am gonna go underneath my eye once i've applied my foundation but the reason why i do my eyes first instead of foundation first is because any fallout from the glitter will not get caught in my foundation i can brush it away and put foundation on over the top but the only problem is i do have glitter on my hands all right i'm gonna go in with my second primer it's like a second step to my base and it's the strawberry booster it's 100 percent cold pressed strawberry seed oil from the brand bye bye got this in a glossy box and i've been a obsessed with it i would actually rebuy this i 
Was this in my January favourites as well? I'm not sure, but I do really, really love this, so it probably should have been. Um, but it's just a not oil, and I really like oil. Now, I am obviously bringing out my own skincare products, and I'm definitely going to be bringing out an oil at some point. The oil is going to be sort of multi-use. You can use it at night to moisturise your skin and give that, like, hydration, or you can use it like I am right now before makeup because it is great at kind of giving a great base. Now, I have oily skin, and I'm putting oils on my face. Now, that is completely fine you don't need to have dry skin to use oils oils are meant for everybody and also if you deprive your skin of oils it will therefore produce more oils so do not do that um so yeah i kind of leave that to sit a little bit and then put the foundation on top so now for the foundation so this has a very strange applicator on it this is what it looks like it's like um i don't know a plastic applicator and it's kind of the one where you can't really put it into your hand to then apply to your face you have to apply it straight to your face which is kind of weird but you know it's not too much of a hassle and you do have to dip back in quite a bit i have been using this for a good few weeks and i do really really love it i am going to repurchase it straight after i'm not going to use a different foundation up until then it is 100 going to be this one and i would definitely recommend that you try this one Make sure to take it down the neck a little bit, but I do have a um, black top on. So I always put a little bit on around my face. Remember, it isn't full coverage. Um, and then I will go back in afterwards if there needs to be any more coverage to add, add in a little bit more in. So I am just going to take this sponge. This is from the brand In The Style. I did a sponsored video for them um, on TikTok. This video is not sponsored though. And yeah, I really, really love it. And this is actually better than my real technique sponge i don't know how much it costs they didn't really tell me like how much it cost which is quite funny i find it a bit weird like sponsored tiktoks because it's literally like 15 seconds and the video's gone so it's like do they really work like do they really influence people to buy stuff i don't know jumper never mind i'm not leaving the house so i'm looking at this now and as you can see it isn't full coverage it covers like this in fact i would say light to medium you can still see under my skin but i quite like that kind of more natural effect because i obviously do build up with concealer and powders and i don't want my face to look too cakey but i am going to apply a little bit more just kind of around in the areas where they're looking a little bit I don't know, like it just needs a little bit more kind of coverage, but not too much. And I'm just gonna go over that again. Okay, that's it applied so it's just given a little bit more coverage i am now gonna go ahead and conceal i will show you me concealing because i think foundations can affect the way that concealers apply and also powder but then everything else i would do and get back to you so i am just going to reach into my makeup bag here and try and find my concealer the, I actually use two concealers. The first one is one from The Body Shop. I actually really love this and I am going to repurchase this. I'm going to buy it off my friend Grace because she also she sells products for The Body Shop now even though obviously I don't. Um, but this is the Matte Clay Foundation in the shade number 10. It's a full, sorry, foundation concealer. It's a full coverage concealer. It looks like this and I literally just take my finger on the outer part and just pop that under my eye now i get the shade number 10 because that's really bright and i use this product to kind of brighten up my under eyes because naturally that makes you look a little bit kind of more awake i don't necessarily blend it in like a lot because i will be blending it in with my um beauty blender in a minute or beauty sponge um but i am going to conceal with the w7 mega concealer this is a great concealer T um i watched tarty's videos on youtube i love her videos and she hates this concealer she thinks it's not good she doesn't like the coverage she thinks it doesn't cover that well and she hates the applicator because when you pull it out sometimes the concealer flies out which is fair enough 
Oh, and by the way, this one's in the shade number two. I really like it and I will continue to purchase this because obviously everyone's opinions are different. People will like different stuff. And obviously she's tried a lot more. I really want to buy her palette still. And I really want to get the blender full. Um, that she's released if you don't know about the product she's released and you want to know just research it um or subscribe to her channel she's my favorite youtuber i've been binge watching her videos over the past few days i literally watch like five of her videos a day i'm going back and i'm watching all of her videos from last year just because i really love her videos and i don't know i just like to watch it because she's very motivational she actually inspires me a lot she's like a completely different youtuber to the normal ones in terms of like how she's not fake in my opinion anyway i don't think she's fake i think she's quite down to earth and i like that so i'm gonna get um some of her products probably in a month or two i want to wait until she's brought out some more products so that the shipping costs less because i know that shipping will cost me a lot so the more products i get um, the less times I'll have to keep buying and paying shipping because I will be wanting all of her products I really 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 do I'm not like a sucker for youtubers products I'm not that kind of person that's like oh I want this I want this I want this just because I watch someone's videos I genuinely believe that her products will be really good because she is like I don't know just a good person so I'm now going to powder with my natural collection powder in the shade um, warm this is a matte pressed powder I don't go expensive when it comes to powders because I literally just want to mattify my face to set my base in place and that is it like I'm not here for crazy expensive powders at all and as you can see that does mattify down really nicely I also think that this powder does also add a little bit of coverage as well so if we bring you um or if i come a little bit closer you can see that it does look quite um more of a full coverage finish than it did before i have obviously applied concealer i have applied a powder on top and you can see that the finish is actually really really nice you don't need anything stronger and that's why i'm liking using this foundation because it isn't like full full coverage it is quite nice how it's like a little bit less than my usual foundation and I'm definitely um loving that. So I am going to finish up the rest of my makeup which means like bronzer, blusher, highlighter, lipstick, mascara, all of that stuff and I will get back to you with my sort of final thoughts on what it looks like and then we'll do kind of a wear test throughout the day on how it's doing. Okay so I've just finished doing my makeup, bronzer, blusher, highlighter, lips, um mascara and setting spray all that stuff i'm done um so this is what my makeup is looking like now i'll zoom you in a little bit closer and show you what the foundation is looking like completely with the rest of my makeup on so it's looking quite good it's not looking oily right now any shine is coming from my setting spray or my highlighter that i applied i am going to be go Shh. I am going to be going away. I'm going to be filming two more videos that I've got to film. I am also going to show you after I've done a workout because I think that's a really good test as well as to how makeup and foundation lasts as well. And also after I've eaten my tea this evening, which will probably be quite late and that will probably be my final check-in and see kind of my final thoughts and show you how it is, even though I already know that I love it. But yeah. Hello. So I have just finished filming my two videos that i was filming so the videos that i was filming today was this one that i've just filmed and also a little kind of motivational push yourself video that's just what i wanted to film um but anyway my um i still got my shoe lights on by the way shoe lights my studio lights um my face is starting to look a little bit oily now obviously i did apply the oil at the start but usually my face doesn't get that oily um so you can see oils around here i'm not going to be touching my face at any point during the next during the evening i'm not going to be touching my face because i want to give a true representative of how my skin looks um this foundation does not make my skin look that oily my skin naturally is quite oily i did put an oil on underneath but i do like to do that it does make the base of my makeup quite nice and usually my skin does remain quite matte but i think it's because i have been in front of two big lights and also i've been quite busy i am going to tidy everything away and then i'm going to do a 20 minute workout it's 10 minute hit workout so high intensity interval training 
so it is quite a lot of effort for 10 minutes and then 10 minute toning so i've got that so 20 minutes and then i will check in with you after then but so far it's kind of just looking a little bit oily at the minute but nothing too major but we'll see how we look i'm not going to be powdering or anything like that we'll just see how it looks okay so it is quite a lot later on now i have removed my eye makeup and um, because obviously the glitter was really annoying me so <laughs> I did remove my eye makeup and I, today I've done a workout, I've eaten, it's been a long day. I'm actually really busy with things right now but I'll talk about that in a minute. But in terms of the foundation, as you can see most of it is rubbed off but that is because I've been touching my face, oopsie daisies. Um, but overall like if you saw me you like from afar you wouldn't think anything different like you wouldn't think oh your foundation is rubbed off so it's the kind of foundation that like comes off your skin but in a natural nice way accidentally steamed you up hello we'll be back yeah so as i was saying it's not the kind of foundation to look cakey later on in the day it doesn't cake up on your face it just kind of disappears um but in a nice way and not in a patchy way so i think my skin still looks really nice it does last really well also i watched a video that tarty posted and it was a video of her re renewing the new one it is a dewy version of this foundation so that would be interesting to try that one but i do really like this one so i am going to rebuy it again my overall thoughts on the foundation is really really like it in fact I'm gonna buy it again which means that it is really good and I do really like it I'm just currently sterilizing some jars for my product which does involve me putting them in the oven um if you didn't know I brought out a skincare product I will quickly show you it so this is my copy of it. This is my like one to use because obviously I wanted one for myself. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. It is a face mask. I've launched my website and it will be linked down below in the description to this video if you would like to go and purchase anything. Um, when I say anything, there's only one product on it so far, but there is gonna be a lot more products coming soon i've got loads of ideas um and i am trying really really hard um so yeah this is my first one it's a powdered clay face mask and i love it and hopefully everybody else really likes it too so yeah i'm just sterilizing them and i'm gonna get them posted off in the morning um so i've got a really busy evening because it's the evening right now um and then i'll take my makeup off a little bit later but yeah overall thoughts on the foundation really really love it um, oh, this is a good light in for you to kind of see it. It's underneath the oven. But yes, I could film videos here. Isn't that great? Okay, so yeah. Really good foundation. Lasting really well, except it obviously does come off naturally when you touch your face like me. Um, but overall, it is great. And I would highly recommend, especially for the price. Um, and, it, and it's going to become my new favourite. And I've been using the same foundation, the Maybelline 24 Hour Stay Foundation, for like one year. So pretty damn good for me to switch foundations because it actually takes a lot for me to really love one and to not keep switching and changing um so yeah thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe remember to go and check out my first product which will be linked in the description if you want to go and purchase it and it takes three to five days for delivery but i am going to do a whole video on this coming very soon but yeah thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video bye oh also apologies i didn't do that many check-ins it's because i've been so busy but at least you can see how it looks like after doing a workout after eating after a full day so this makeup here has been on for six seven eight about 11 hours so nearly a 12 hour wear test